We're going to factor this quadratic trinomial by grouping. However, we have to change the three terms into four terms, and it's going to look like this. 12b squared plus some number times bc plus some number times bc minus 2c squared. And what we do is we label the numbers. The first number is labeled A, the second number is labeled B, and the third number is labeled C, so that A is 12, B is negative 5, and C is negative 2. I multiply A times C. This is just the method. A times C is going to be 12 times negative 2, which is negative 24. I now am going to factor negative 24. It'll be, let's see, 1 times negative 24, 2 times negative 12, 3 times negative 8, 4 times negative 6, and then they start repeating at 6. Now, also, negative 1 times positive 24 negative 2 times positive 12, negative 3 times positive 8, and negative 4 times 6. Now what I need to do is I need to find which one of these pairs adds up to the B number, negative 5, and that would be 3 and negative 8, because 3 plus negative 8 equals negative 5. So these are the numbers I'm going to use. So I'll have 12b squared minus 8bc plus 3bc minus 2 c squared. Now I'm going to group like always. Now we've got four terms. So just like always when we're grouping, we group the first two, two terms, we group the second two terms, and then we factor each set of terms by the greatest common factor. All right, let's do that. Twelve B squared is going to be three times four times B times B, and eight B C is uh, yes, never mind. Eight B C is going to be two times four times B times C. I can see that each of these two first two terms has a four and a B in it. So I'm going to circle the 4 and the b, and pull that out to the front, and then write the leftovers, a 3 and a b, minus 2c. All right, now let's do the same thing with the next set of numbers. Uh, terms. 3bc minus 2cc. Each of these terms contains a c. Therefore, I'll copy down the middle plus sign. Notice that the middle plus sign is left in the middle. All right, it's not inside either set of parentheses. 
Now, since C is the common factor of the second set of parentheses, I write my C, and then parentheses and the leftovers, which will be 3B minus 2C. Now notice that the 3B minus 2C matches. In each set of parentheses, I have 3b minus 2c. 3b minus 2c now is the greatest common factor of the entire polynomial. So I'll write it down. And then I'll write the leftovers. What are the leftovers? There's a 4b and a plus and a c. So 4b plus C. This should be the correct factorization. Now, how do I know for sure? Well, here's how I know for sure. I'm going to check my work. What a concept. Check my work. And I'm going to do that by foiling. I'm going to FOIL the two factors in my answer and see if I come up with what I started with. All right, 3b times 4b is 12b squared. Outside is going to be 3b times c, so that will be 3bc. Inside will be negative 2c times 4b which will be negative 8bc, and I forgot to write my plus over here. And then last is going to be negative 2c times c, which is minus 2c squared. Now, these terms both have a bc. The letter parts are exactly the same. So we can combine them. 3bc minus 8bc is negative 5bc. So my answer is going to be 12b squared minus 5bc minus 2c squared, which is indeed exactly what I started with. And we have now factored this quadratic trinomial by the method called grouping. Talk to you later.